Hi, my witness news meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. We're continuing to track Hurricane Dorian moving away from North Carolina this morning and will be making its closest pass to us late tonight and into tomorrow. We don't get a direct impact, but we do see some fringe effects from it, including some gusty winds and some rainfall. The strongest wind gusts, right now we're thinking it's confined mostly to Nantucket and uh, the outer Cape, but that tropical storm warning continues for the Cape and the islands. We also have a high surf advisory. We've been seeing the seas building already seeing seven foot waves and our buoy data offshore and those will continue to build through the afternoon and into tomorrow too some lingering swells expected so be careful stay out of uh, the water doing any swimming at least you know there's surfers trying to to capitalize on some of the waves from Dorian. Here's what the forecast track is. It's been very consistent over the week with a track well to the south and east of Nantucket just giving us those uh, fringe effects. Let's take a look at the rainfall. So late this afternoon and into this evening, those first batches of showers moving on shore, the rain will turn steadier through the evening and nighttime hours and we'll wake up to some of those downpours early tomorrow morning. They'll taper off from west to east through the end of the morning and the winds will be diminishing too. So the second half of the day, we are going to see some improvements with those lighter winds. Strongest winds early Saturday morning 2 a.m. through about 9 o'clock in the morning. We'll see the potential for some gusts as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour along the shore. Further inland, the wind gusts will be lighter than that. Rainfall amounts. I'll show you a big change in distance. This is going to end up being directly impacted by exactly where Dorian tracks. So a slight shift to the west and some of those higher rainfall totals will be further west. If it shifts a little bit further out to sea, then the rainfall amounts will be well below an inch for most of us. So here's a look at the local impacts. This afternoon and this evening, just a few showers. Coastal wind gusts to 30 miles per hour. Tonight into early tomorrow morning rounds of rain and downpours winds picking up and then the rain ends Saturday between 8 and 11 a.m. most spots early in the morning those gusts 30 to 45 miles per hour diminishing winds and clearing skies in the afternoon just want to give you a little taste of what Saturday is going to be feeling and looking like this is 7 a.m. Saturday morning temperatures in the 50s noontime still struggling to hit 60 degrees we add in some sunshine so at the end of the day it does look nicer we'll climb up to between 65 and 70 degrees under partly sunny skies second half of the weekend looks great up mid 70s mostly sunny skies lighter winds but keep in mind there still could be some dangerous rip currents at our beaches